All right. Uh, good morning, everybody. I'm proud to be here with uh, Governor Cuomo. Uh, as you maybe know, we got to know each other about a month ago. We were out uh, fishing for some good ideas in ways that our uh, two states can work together. And we work together. We're a lot stronger and a lot more effective. And uh, coming out of that uh, meeting, um, Governor Cuomo is unique amongst the political people um, I've gotten to know. Uh, he likes to turn ideas into action, and he likes to do it quickly, and he likes to do it effectively. And he uh, kept pushing as we con con continued to communicate about how we can act on a lot of the agenda items that we were discussing on Lake Ontario. And that resulted in this meeting today and some ongoing meetings over the next uh, you know, few months. We talked about today um, things that cross our borders. A, a state border is sort of an artificial line. We talked uh, briefly about cybersecurity, for example, and public safety, and ways we're going to do joint exercises, and more importantly, prepare for that eventuality. We've talked previously a little bit about joint purchasing and ways that we do this together, we can have some uh, real savings. We talked a little more today um, in an ongoing conversation when it comes to transportation. We can speed up our transportation system, uh, do what we can to end gridlock, get uh, the rail going in a way that it should be going. But it doesn't work unless if the Metro North goes all the way into Grand Central Station. It can't stop at the border. And Governor Cuomo has been so aggressive and ambitious in upgrading his transportation uh, system there in um, New York over the last period of time. And the success of the Mario Cuomo Bridge and the ability to show people that this investment dollars make a difference every day. And he reminded us we're going to need some early successes as we do transportation and give people a vision about where we want to go. And finally, um, what came up and we've discussed in some detail is how we work together state by state, and perhaps with our neighboring states in Rhode Island and uh, New Jersey and beyond, marijuana regulation and now vaping. Uh, the idea that each state does its own thing is a little patchwork of different rules and regulations, different uh, qualities in terms of uh, public safety and public health. Uh, Governor Cuomo really has been um, forceful in saying this is something we want to do together. We want to do it on a timely basis. We don't want to give up marijuana to uh, the black market. We've seen how dangerous that can be. And come up with our public safety regulations and other rules. If we do that together going forward, I think that would be a priority for both of us. I'm really glad to see the close relationship that we have, New York and uh, Connecticut. We're a lot stronger for it, and I appreciate you being Thank here, Governor. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, it's my pleasure to be here. And first, I want to thank the uh, Governor very much for his hospitality and his entire team uh, preparing for today. I also want to make sure uh, that I communicate how impressed I was with the Governor's proficiency uh, on the water. He had a mastery of nautical affairs rarely seen in an elected <laughs> official. Uh, he was uh, really impressive uh, in advising the captain on how to catch fish, which was, <laughs> and uh, successful at it, uh, and was very kind, not to mention on our fishing trip that his fish was actually a little bit bigger than my fish, but decorum uh, uh, caused the governor not to mention that. I'm very excited about the relationship with uh, not just the state, but with Governor Lamont. He's here to make things better. And he's willing to take the risk and take the chance uh, to make change, which many elected officials are not willing to do. You know, everybody wants, uh, in theory, in abstract, we want change, we want to improve. Yeah, but they don't want to actually do the work required to make that happen. It's not easy to make change. Uh, but the governor obviously brings uh, great intelligence and energy and creativity, uh, and he's about getting it done, and that's, that is the common link uh, between us. These are special opportunities to be in elected office, and uh, the people put trust in you, and our obligation is to do our best every day to maximize that opportunity. And I think we can do more together than we can working alone. Uh, and Lord knows uh, we have problems facing us that uh, rise on a daily basis, issues that nobody has thought about before. And uh, it's going to take all of us if we're going to actually make a difference. We don't have 
frankly, in my opinion, a federal government that is providing leadership on these issues. Uh, we're getting out of Washington a lot of confusion and, and a lot of debate. Uh, and basically, they're saying to the states, you are on your own. And that's uh, liberating uh, on one level. So if we're on our own, let's hook our boats together and uh, let's see if we can find our way through this storm. The number of issues that uh, face both Connecticut and New York as neighbors, uh, the governor mentioned them, but uh, right up on the top are the transportation issues. Metro North is vital to New York. It's also vital to Connecticut. Uh, we're investing in Metro North. We want to make it better. We want to do that with Connecticut. Uh, and I think there's a lot of opportunities there in time, terms of cybersecurity, environmental issues, emergency management, which is a whole new field for all of us with storms that we've never seen before and being able to address those issues. Uh, that we can do better together. Uh, and then the issue of marijuana and legalizing marijuana and vaping, which uh, the vaping issue is real and it's frightening. You have hundreds of people all across this country who have gotten ill. We have about 100 people in New York State. You have young people who are dying, and you have young people who are getting addicted to nicotine, and they don't even know what they're doing. They were sold this product, vaping, it's safe, it's fine, and everybody's doing it. Everybody's doing it. It must be fine. All the cool kids are doing it. Yeah, now you have kids who are 12, 13, 14 years, years old who are vaping. At best, they're getting addicted to nicotine. At worst, they're putting a substance in their body that can kill them. Uh, so what do we do about that? Uh, the federal government is doing nothing. What can we do? And what can we do together? Because uh, it makes no sense to pass one set of rules in New York when they can just drive across the border to Connecticut and have a different set of rules and vice versa. Uh, and with that issue is the legal of mar marijuana uh, for recreational use legalization, which is, poses the same constellation of issues. How old could the person be? Uh, to purchase, what's the THC content, what's the taxation rate, what form does the THC get sold in, how do you make sure it doesn't get to young people, how do you make sure the police force is ready to enforce these laws and trained to enforce these laws. So uh, in concept, many people agree on the legalization of recreational marijuana, but like in many cases, the devil is going to be in the details. And how you do it will determine the success of the program. Uh, and doing that collectively and regionally makes sense. And we're going to have a meeting October 17th where we put together regional partners uh, and try to talk that through. Uh, my goal is to have a proposal by January that I can make in my state of the state uh, to my New York State legislature. And hopefully we can come up with some uh, common uh, premises for the program. We won't agree on everything. We're not supposed to. Uh, we're supposed to represent the people of our respective states. But the conversation is always good. The discussion is always good. And I believe we're going to find uh, many common paths to a better future. But I want to thank the governor and his team very much for the hospitality again. Thank you. Stop.